Hi guys, Richie Gamer back and we're not back to playing Yandere Simulator. This is another Yandere Simulator news video video, so try haven't done for a little while. Um, by the way, sorry that I, there have been so many uh, quiet days over the Christmas period. I hope you had an awesome Christmas. If you did indeed celebrate it very nice, if you do, if you did, let me know what you got very nice. Let me know what, you, what your best gift was. But yes, very nice. Um, this is something which appeared like around like a week ago, possibly a little bit more, where Yandere Dead was like teasing at the idea that maybe... Yet red the black characters may be appearing in a different in a in a spin-off like a uh, game in like an up game but the, the Yandere Simulator character is going to be added to it much like that game what was it called oh god I can't remember what it's called the clicking game I can't remember what it's called you know what I'm talking about guys you're going to be correcting me in the comments but anyway guys yes um so originally the poll was please list uh, your t uh, your top 25 favorite girls from Yandere Simulator um, and I was going to do a video on it, but I found it very difficult to different to do the middle part. I could do the top and bottom, if I'm a fun. But I, but the middle part is just like impossible to try and put an order to. So I actually ended up not doing it. I think that I'm not alone there because Yandere Dev has now powered another update where the poll is actually a lot easier to actually uh, put to make your choices. So I think that he actually didn't get enough entries before because it was a little bit too. It was a bit much, and also it, it, it was just text, whereas and now it has pictures as well, just in case if you don't know who the characters are. And so we're going to be filling that in today, but now it's apparently a very quick process. I recommend you doing it as well if you want to see uh, your Yandere Simulator characters appear in this game. I will say, guys, now, I won't be playing this game on the channel, guys, because it's, well, I mean, yeah. Uh, it's called Project QT, and apparently it's, um... Oh, it was very nice. Now, I'm not into that, I'm afraid. Um, and I'm, my child certainly isn't into it. If you're into that sort of thing, you're nice bully for you. But yeah, I, I, unfortunately, this Project QT will not be appearing on my channel. Unless it's not, unless it, no, it's not going to be appearing on my channel. <laughs> let's not even go into that. Either way, bitch, right, so let's have a look at the list. Like I say, it's actually a very quick process. I'll leave a link in the description, in fact, so you can uh, fill it in as well. This is on a website called Ultra Munch Veggie Nights. Um, I don't even want to know what it means by that, but it has anime and gaming and tech and stuff. It has Junko, which is good. It means I know something about, um, uh, from this sort of uh, thing. I definitely don't know what this is. I think that these horns are on the end recently. I think they're, um, an Easter egg. But yes, uh, either way, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, choose. Uh, let's actually read through this because I want to know exactly what we are actually voting for. Vote now! Yandere Sinatra, Best Girls Poll, Project QT Crossover. Now is your chance to vote for the cutest Yandere Sinatra characters for specific categories. Choose your best girl and see how other pl people vote after you cast your votes. Now, like I say, guys. Uh, I think Yandere Dev actually said, gave a warning in, in, in the blog, saying, by the way, it, it, it may not just be your favourite girl, because they may be appearing in, in a capacity that you don't approve of, if you know what I mean. And so, yeah, you do have to be careful who you're actually voting for here. But either way, so, this, I think it's just a suggestion poll anyway, but, uh, yeah, if, if, you, if you're interested in this project, or if you just want to see your favourite character appear in other capacities... Go for it, Venite. So let's start with. Uh, oh no, Yandere needs your help to decide which characters should join the crossover. Your vote can help make that the, 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 make a difference. Note: there's a lot of there's a lot of images here, so please give the poll a few seconds. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Waffle, waffle. waffle. Okay, so we're starting off with the faculty, Venite. I used to call it facility because I'm an idiot, but it's faculty. So I mean, I, we know all know who I'm going to be voting for here, right? I think we all know it's going to be Genka Venite. Of course, the lovely Genka. Wow, it shows the current results as well. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. So, wow. Second place for Genka. The nurse is so popular. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I'll be honest, guys. The nurse is probably the least for me to be honest out of the, out of the four. But, you know, each the right, each the right. This is a very strange video. I apologize, guys. Right, uh, vote for the best girl, non-rivals one. Really? Oh, and of course, no, she's like, yeah, I always get confused with Rosie Chan, because she's not actually rival, but if, I think Andrew said, said that she, that she's would be if there was an 11? I can't remember. I, I can't remember. It'd be very easy, because she walks off on her own right at the start of the day, uh, to take out, I should say. 
Okay, so uh, so we have Rosie Chan, we have Shan, we got Mizumi, and we have the lovely Info Chan. <sighs> yeah, I get the. Okay, here's a prediction. I think Rosie Chan's gonna be number one. I'm gonna say that my pick is gonna be number two. I'm gonna go with B, then it's Shan. Wow. Now that's surprising. That's very. I thought Rosie Chan was very popular, but she's actually the least popular out of this. Sixteen percent. Info Chan. Ah, actually, to be actually, let's rethink this, Red Knights. Also, it's going to be the characters that you want to appear in this game, and I guess Info Chan's a lot more infamous than uh, than the than the other four. So that's possibly why. But Shan is up there, guys. That she's not far behind at all. We can actually see a breakdown on the votes. Oh, this website's cool. You know, weird way. I say weird. Like I say, guys, each throw. Right. Best girl, best girl, non-rivals two. Now I know what you're thinking, guys. I know what you're thinking. I think you all think that I'm going to go with a certain girl. I'm actually not. I'm also not going to go with the girl who is definitely going to be the most popular at the four here, guys. Um, I don't even want to say what I'm about to say, guys, but I've got something for dark hair ladies, and I think that Nemesis is actually pretty freaking awesome. Again, I'm not into this sort of thing, but if I were, Nemesis would be my pick. It's going to be the bottom. Oh, whoa! I mean, we all knew Question Chan was going to be at the top. We all knew Question Chan was going to be at the top. Freaking rival Chan right down at the bottom. If you're not having fun bags, I mean, she's got a heck of a... Don't even say it. Um, 210 votes for nights compared to... Um, Maduri, who has well over twice as many. And Nemesis Chan right up there as well. I mean, that's great. I thought I'd be in the minority there, but no. Uh, second place. I've been second place every time, haven't I? Yes. How fascinating. Okay, next. I think the next one might be the last one, actually. Let's have a quick... No, no, no. we got a couple more. we got a couple more. Uh, right, we got the rivals here. Now, again, you got to think about what type of game this is going to be, so I'm definitely not choosing C. Um... Oh god, I think I may have to go with A, just because she kind of reminds me of Chie, uh, Chie from Persona 4. I mean, she's not really like Chie. Chie from Persona 4 is like, she, she she's actually not as uh, as fit and, and sporting ability as she thinks she is, whereas obviously this lady actually is. I think that Mugami will win this. I think Kanji might be second. I call these delinquent Kanji, by the way, guys. But I am going to go with A, and if Hanako isn't bottom, I am ashamed of one, all 1,340 of the people I voted on this. A. Wow, I am in the minority there, guys. That's crazy. 8%. Megami was always going to win that. I'm glad that Hanako is at least third. She should be lower in my opinion, but that's just my, my opinion. Um, and yeah, Kanji doing well as well. So good for, girl, good, good for Kanji. Good for Kanji. I don't know if there's going to be a second round of this, by the way. Because obviously, there are, there are already five questions asked. So maybe if, there, if there's like a tiebreaker or something like that, we might be seeing some more. Uh, okay, so that this one's gonna be a tough one. I think that I, I think there's oh actually it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be um, Osana or Oka that'll win this, right? Kazana, I can see doing quite well, and Cook, apparently Cookie Chan's very popular as well. So I firstly, I firstly I'm gonna go. But this is right. This video is very strange, guys. I'm gonna go with Oka. I'm gonna go with Oka. Oh my goodness! Oka Rutu! Gonna get some Rotto. What? In the game, if she gets added. Right, you know what, guys? Ignore that last sentence. And I think that's it. Nearly 50%! Osana, I would have thought, would have walked away with that. I thought Osana would have walked away with that. Okay, so we finished then. Uh, vote fast. There's limited time before the crossover characters will be decided. In total, Yandere Dev's planning to select six characters. Oh, only six! Yandere Chan already included. Of course, Yandere Chan was always going to be included. Um, your vote can help decide the remaining five characters for the crossover. Results will be posted after the official decision has been made. Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, note, 
These polls results may help decide the crossover, however various other factors might also be considered when deciding the final crossover. Of course, yeah, no, at the end of the day this is an opinion poll, but right, Yonadev obviously has the final say on who actually gets added. Who the hell is this? Oh, Sandra's little sister or something. Nice crown. Nice crown. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, so all in all, I'm quite an oddball because apparently I didn't. No, no, I chose Oka, who was who was the top pick. This is this kind of amazes me. The the, the fact that the nurse is so high. Is that because because uh, I know Jay from the Cub Scouts has a thing for her, doesn't doesn't he? Because I remember when she first got uh, when she had when she went she, she oh no of course this is uh, this is the rival isn't it what I'm talking about when the other nurse changed people were saying in my comments oh wow Jay's not going to be happy I said maybe that, maybe that's played a factor here nearly half the votes that's crazy well, Genka should be higher up than that in my opinion percentage wise I should say um, but it looks like it looks like it's going to be nursey nurse nurse. Uh, this one, this one's very, still very close, and so your vote can really make a big difference on this one. Info Chan, that that does surprise me, but you know, I'm amazed that Mizumi's higher than Rosie Chan. I really kind of am. Oh well, yeah, this one. I mean, we, the question chat. I mean, this one's actually drastically closer than I would have thought it was was going to be. I would have thought Question Chan would have walked away with that, but Nemesis is right behind her, and you do not want Nemesis right behind you guys because you know what happens then. And, um, rivals, I mean, I, clearly, I've, I, clearly, I'm different than other people, guys, because 8%, that's shocking to me. Anything getting 8% when it's four, four choices, I mean, she's not getting added. It's basically what, what, what that's decided. And, of course, rivals 2, which, Oka, that's still shocking to me. 23% for Osana. There you go, guys. Like I say, I'm, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Okay, I'm going to say this right now, guys, because I've, no I've just noticed something. This video is going to be very close to 10 minutes long. Now, I find it really annoying when my videos are very close to 10 minutes long, because I know what it looks like, guys. I can categorically tell you that I do not try and get my videos to be exactly 10 minutes long. Like many YouTubers, there's one YouTube channel which I've followed for a while. And every single one of the videos is like 10 minutes and 4 seconds, 10 minutes and 2 seconds. Basically what happens when you, when you have a 10 minute video is... Um, it means that you can add additional adverts in. And you can have an advert at the end as well as at the start. And obviously more ads mean more revenue. I never do that, guys. I never plan to make it exactly 10 minutes. And so that's... I just wanted to explain that because I hate, I hate uploading a video and it says, oh, 10 minutes and everyone's just thinking, Veggie, come on, Sam. But yes, there you go. I promise you it's just a coincidence. Go and vote, guys. Um, you know, this is a democracy after all. Yandere simulator democracy. There are other characters that are missing. I mean, like I said, the, the original uh, list had all, uh, like, had 25 different girls on it and that is a lot, guys. Um... Actually, no, this is 20, so it's not actually it's not actually that far off. But yeah, let your voice be heard, Red Knights. Which girl... I don't, I don't, even, I don't even want to end the sentence. Just go and vote, okay? Please don't go and subscribe. I'm an Avenger Gamer. I'm going to go take a shower now, and I'll see you next time.